So, I'm in downtown Brooklyn. Car stopped last night, and um, well, let's put it to you this way, guys. It's one of those times where a person should really panic, knowing full well that one can handle this. So today's uh, episode is about how to tell what part of your car isn't functioning when your car won't start. So let's see, uh, you have turn off the car, car won't start, but your, your gauges and your instrument panels light up, the radio works, headlights work, everything works car won't crank you don't even hear a tick for the first instance you would probably say to yourself damn it's probably the battery or the alternator well let's put it to you this way if your car cranks and just won't start or it cranks it starts and then it dies first telltale would be uh, the first case car starts then dies then it's the alternator if the car cranks and doesn't hold the charge either then it would be the battery well in my case the starter won't even click instrument panels I charge the battery wasn't the battery or the alternator so next lineup is the starter so how to tell if the starter is really bad well let's just say that this thingamajig is been in my car since 1996 and it's the original how can you tell it's the original by this it's a piece of paper and just be, judging by looking at it this isn't supposed to move this connector here this is for the uh, battery and this is for the car so that's how you tell so rule out the battery rule out the alternator rule out the sparks rule out the wires rule out electricals well it is technically an electrical issue but this is a generator this is what starts the car <laughs> 